Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Pikmin 4. Today, we are heading to a whole new area right over here. After we've completed all those night expeditions, there really isn't anything left for us to do but to go rescue Captain Almar. So let's try that out. Which area would you like to explore? So we've already fully completed the first three areas. Let's try area number four, Heroes Hideaway. There's a significant chance that Captain Almar is here. Keep an eye out for him as you explore. I would love to, so let's head to what might be our final area in the game. Who knows, Heroes Hideaway. All right, team, wish us luck. This might be the most difficult adventure yet. But I'm up to the task because we have a captain to save. Ooh, so looking very familiar to the tutorial that we did with Alamar. But maybe a lot more dangerous. There's enemies everywhere. But yeah, this is just an active home. Pretty cozy, to be honest with you. Whoa, here we come. This is gonna be so much fun. This is a big old house level. After spending all that time outside, it's just fun to do something a little bit different. Ooh, we're getting a call. Hello? Colin here, it looks like you're safely inside the structure. Based on your current location, we were right to conclude that Captain Almar is in this area. I found a log associated with your exact coordinates. Unknown area. I'm so close to fully repairing the SS Dolphin. The remaining parts should be somewhere inside this giant structure that I've never seen before. It's as if the rules of logic I've come to understand may not apply here. I'll have to explore carefully now. Almar. And we've got one more piece of surprising news. The spaceship we found at the rescue command post is Captain Almar's, I knew it. After analyzing its flight logs, we can confirm it came from Hakutate, which means we can now track down Captain Almar by scent. Before you set out, I had Ochi memorize any smells associated with the ship so we might be able to find its castaways. So find Captain Almar, Ochi. We're counting on you, Zebra. Well, we'll do what we can. So, we have some Voyage Log entries, we got a lot going on here. It's imperative to get the lay of the land. Scope things out with your survey drone. Before I do, let's go ahead and just sort of have it automatically bring some Pikmin out. It seems like it recommends yellow, ice, and rock Pikmin for this. And yeah, we'll do the, um, the survey drone right over here. So, we're starting off over here. I wish I could zoom out more. Okay, here we go, here we go. We're heading up. Seems like there might be a lot of little enemies around. Plenty of treasure to find. Look at the big couch over here. I feel like it just might be easier to figure things out just by looking around. This monster looking ferocious. That might be a little bit harder to get through, but we'll find a way for sure. I don't see any caverns just yet though. Hopefully there are some, but we can go up the stairs a little bit too. Yeah, is there gonna be a second floor to this home that we can explore? I guess we'll have to wait and see. The area itself is quite large, so we have a lot of work cut out for us today. Um, I guess we could start with, you know, trying to get some Pikmin, but do we really need them right now? I mean, the thing we have the least of is the ice Pikmin, but we can't really get more of those, so maybe the yellow Pikmin, yeah. So I'll toss a couple of those over, do this, and that, and that should be a good start for everything. I do see some stuff hidden back here, but how do I get to it? Um, I mean, I can toss a couple of Pikmin over, but maybe if I charge this pillow? Oh, that sort of kind of worked, but also sort of didn't. Maybe that's another way around. Weird. Yeah, I don't really see an easy way to get over to there. Maybe if I can just sneak behind like this. Here we go. That should be all of them. Yep, okay, cool. So that's a nice little reserve of things to find straight away. We could just hop off this ledge and get started with all that, but I don't think I want to. There we go. And then we'll get all this these rock picked in. So back to exploring around. I would like to get up there at some point if I can, but I guess for right now we'll, we'll tackle some grubs. These grubs are really easy to fight, so taking care of them won't be too much of a big deal. What about this block? Can I push this around at all? Not really. Just feels like there's a lot of little hidden areas that can be easily lost. Like we got this cork board over here, which has this on it, but that's not really doing anything. So maybe we charge into it? No. This is odd. Um, why can't we do anything with this? Weird. Maybe we can go behind it and then Oh, that did it. Okay, cool. So we have a playing card as well as a little dart here. All right, one more. Got it. What else is going on around here? We have this thing we can hop down. Where will this lead? Uh, 
Somewhere. Oh, it's Moss. Uh oh. They're sniffing us out. Uh. Where did they go? Hi, buddy. Look over there. It's the dog that was running around with that leaf lang. It looks like it's all alone at the moment. I'll check and see what the voyage log says about it. Moss the guard dog. Moss has been guarding the outside of the bunker for me while I rest. She's also been gathering up Pikmin, though it's unclear where she's finding them. Either way, I feel so lucky to have Moss by my side in all of this. Interesting. So, if this dog is the Moss mentioned in the log, then that leafling must be... Maybe that leafling must be having Alamar captured somewhere, right? <laughs> Who knows, it's a mystery. <laughs> All right, well, um, let's see. What does a symbol mean? Oh, probably on the card that we just got. Okay, I don't see too much more we can do. I will call some friends over just like that. Here, we'll just go and grab them ourselves. Cause it looks like there's not too much more to do besides just hop off and explore down this area then. All right, let's get to it. Oh, there's Moss. So what happens if I try to interact with you? Um, hi. Oh, you're gonna fight? Oh no, you're supposed to be nice. Whoa, watch it. I mean, I don't wanna fight you, but if I have to, then I have to. I don't know. Maybe they'll still just knock you out for a little bit. Uh, oh no. I don't know how to feel about this. I'm sorry, buddy. Uh, Moss is a big pup too. There we go. So you're knocked out for a bit. If we could just, you know, Harvest you, that'd be great. Like, you know, just bring you back so that we can maybe get you calmed down. But I don't think that's gonna work. So we'll just leave you there. So I guess Moss will be running around trying to cause us problems. And can we bring these back? I hope so. Here, we will, um, oh, hey, hey, hey. We might pick them alone over there. We'll fight away as many of these little grubs as possible. That seems like it worked out pretty well. And then go back to this over here. That should be enough for all of that. Over here, we got some creepy monsters. I remember these from Pikmin 3. There we go. Okay. We'll get over here and break some more of these open if possible. Yeah, it doesn't really do too much, but I had to make sure. Oh no, it did give us a little bit of something. We can go under the suitcase here and there's lots to find. Okay, first things first, break these guys open. Oh, there's another Game Boy Advance cartridge. Okay. Breaking all that open first, but then we'll get a lot of friends just to work on trying to deliver stuff. Got it, and then a whole host of them over here. We would need 30 for this one, so we don't quite have enough. It's still pretty cool though, some good progress to be sure. And you know, it seems like, yeah, there's a lot to find here. We're gonna be busy for a while. I don't know if we'll be able to get everything done today. Very unlikely for us to be able to get everything done today, but I'm just searching around as much as I can. I don't have enough Pikmin to fight those monsters, but if I do, I can move the uh, the ship over here. So it might be worth doing soon. We'll just wait for now. Moss is slowly becoming available again. I just don't know what Moss will try to do, is the thing. What if I cause some trouble over here and then just run away? Like damage you a little bit and then just get out. That might be a good idea. Because a lot of these yellow Pikmin are moving their way back over, which is what I want to focus on. They're not fighting my Pikmin over there, are they? They're not, okay. Uh. So we'll grab some of this. Same thing over here too. All these Pikmin, so that we can fight these guys. That's what I'm mostly after. So hopefully that'll work out. Um, I definitely wanna turn this one into the base though, because I feel like it'd just be a little bit easier to get around without oh, electrocuting us quite a lot actually. We're losing Pikmin, because these monsters are really tough to fight. There's something about them. Um, here, call more idle Pikmin over. We still need just as many yellow Pikmin as we can get, which right now we don't have many. Jeez. Um, so we'll do that. If I could freeze them, I don't know if it'll happen in time. Come on, come on, come on. Everybody go. There we go. This is our chance then. Just hit it with everything we got, and that's one enemy defeated. Seems like it's better just to use the ice Pikmin, if not anything else. Okay, so I will fight you. Come on, if we could just freeze you. Ooh, didn't go so well that time. It's okay. Come on, come on. Oh, they're too electrically charged, but we got it, we got it. Awesome, so new base unlocked. We're just going to immediately uh, start dealing with that right over here. So let's move the base over. That way when it comes to finding stuff, it's just way easier to deliver it here than it is the other spot. Uh, let's call as many people as we can over. Hop off of uh, Ochi and just help improve whoever we can. And then definitely, since I lost some yellow Pikmin there, it'll be in my best interest just to improve 
everybody's well-being here. Improve some more yellow Pikmin numbers. Got it. I would like to hop on to Ochi again. Because I do see over here some stuff to charge through. There might be some enemies or something in there. Oh, there is. What is this thing? Whoa. It's got like some golden stuff on it. Whoa, we knocked it off? Cool. So let's just fight this enemy. This is super neat. Gotcha. Okay, well, that seems pretty good. And then a little golden nugget thing that I guess we also destroyed. So we'll do that. But yeah, they're trying to dig up this now, which I guess Ochi would be doing better with. Okay, still a couple more rock Pikmin we can throw over here to get them the bloom. But Ochi's digging right through that. Oh, you found a couple of uh, um, ice Pikmin. Is that it? Can I go through? Doesn't seem like it. But we'll just send more through, like that. And see what else is going on around here. Got a couple of yellow Pikmin to pluck. Because we're about halfway through this day. Moss over there is still snoozing. We don't have any rock Pikmin right now. So I gotta be careful if I go over that way. I'll call over some Pikmin. They're still digging away over here. So you know what, I send more of the crew over, seeing how they're super good at that. Uh, here you are. And we'll send all of this. So we're now officially halfway through. I don't really see a way to get up to this, but that's probably my next goal, right? I would like to get into at least one cavern today. Um, I just don't see the possibility for it, so. Okay, they got through, tunnel completed. That took a lot of time, but we can help out with that. And we end up up here. Excellent, so we should have everybody's attention, right? No, oh, there's still some friends somewhere busy with something. Okay, that only gave me a spicy thing, which I'm a little surprised by, but it's okay. We finally got that one treasure. Wow, that took forever. Um, I guess the newly nostalgic series is making some progress. Why don't we go down here yeah, and start figuring all this out. I do see something over this way. I see Pikmin Sprouts on the radar map. Oh, back over there. Well, that's a little too late for now. I'm going to ride on top of Ochi and see if we can't make these crazy jumps and at least get this. So if I just tackle it, boom, we can get that down. We just need two Ice Pikmin to get the job done. So I'll do that. And I guess we'll start focusing on this stuff. Once again, if we can just get a bunch of ice Pikmin to really start freezing them straight away, that's probably my best bet. But unfortunately, it didn't entirely stay that way. There we go, we finished you real quick now. So yeah, you tackle me if you think you can handle it. Come on, come on. A few more ice Pikmin and then we just go free like this, boom, finish you off. That was pretty good. Oh, over here. Um. Let's send as many Pikmin as we can, focusing on this then. And that should be a good idea. Awesome. And then we still have one more enemy. So if we just call all of you guys, actually two more enemies. Here, yeah, you charge so that I can throw a bunch of ice Pikmin at you. And then we break you. Just like this, gotcha. Okay, that was pretty good. Over here, I'll let you charge, then throw the ice Pikmin. Charge up, and then, oh, come on, come on. Ooh, gotcha. We're doing really good now. So, I might call the idle Pikmin over. I really don't know how many that really is. But we definitely have some more monsters to uh, sort of figure out here. Okay, so they're almost done with that climbing area. In the meantime, though, what's the deal with this? Oh, there's a little coin under there, okay. They need eight more pieces. This looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more pieces. Excellent, so looks like we did pretty good here as soon as they're done. Climbing wall completed. So we'll hop off of Ochi and get up here. And there's definitely a lot to do up this way. So we'll start with uh, breaking this thing open. There we go. Yeah, break the gold thing open too. Our next is really big TV. <laughs> this is so cool, I love this level so far. I see why they sort of teased us with this one at the very beginning of the game because it's by far the coolest level. Okay, so they're bringing everything back and oh, there's a moving platform. Huh, neat. See, so where does that come in from? It goes all the way over there, but I think it comes back over this way, right? If that's the case, everything else is sort of down where it needs to be. We should go ahead and check out this cavern. So this is going to be the doppelganger's den. I keep commanding Moss to follow a scent and she keeps leading me completely off track. There must be some creature down here emitting an unusual smell that can trick not just moss and the Pikmin, 
Just moss and the Pikmin, but my sensors too. What a deceptive ecosystem. All right, so let's try this one out, Doppelganger's Den. And I'll just go with whatever's suggested. It looks like it's this right here. All right, let's go. We're gonna be using the white Pikmin again too, so that's pretty cool. All right, so here we are in the Doppelganger's Den. Looks like there's a lot to do. The first thing I'm gonna do is to send a whole host of ice Pikmin over there to deal with that wall. And then I see this guy. Um, and I think they can handle this well enough. We'll see, I guess. There we go, everybody hop on. They're beating that, that monster up quite a lot, but looks like we didn't lose any Pikmin, which is good. Always gotta be careful of that. But if we can, I thought that would be Nectar. Interesting. So yeah, let's grab all of this. And sounds like the wall was broken, so we might just be able to call the Ice Pikmin over. I specifically need their attention so that they can work on that. Um, all the blue Pikmin can do that. We'll ride you and break this open. Awesome. And we got, was that more white Pikmin in there? No, okay. Uh, so once again, hop off of Moss and definitely have them help dig. It really is usually better just to have all the, help, the Pikmin help dig, just because the digging takes a while. But what's going on in here then? Um, I could at least get a little bit busy with fighting these guys. It could be a little bit of a pain to get them though. Come on. Gotcha. All right, got that. It looks like the tunnel's completed. So maybe while we're doing this, we can switch over to Moss, who can control them all. Good job, buddy. Maybe we could just, yeah, meet up with Alamar over there again. It looks like this might be the bubble emitter. Uh, nope, it's not. Okay, uh, fight you as much as we can then. Come on, come on. You're frozen. And then over here. Let's just deal with this really quickly. We're making some good progress with everything. So we just want to find whatever Pikmin might need to be bloomed. So far, it seems like most of them are doing fine. Okay, call it back over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I will help out with some of this stuff, and now we're one big group again. And then what's up with this? We need 12. That feels pretty good. And it looks like we have the exit right over here, so really isn't that bad to get through. Got it, and boom. So apparently the sensors have been off, but I don't know, so far everything seems pretty normal to me. So maybe as we get farther in, we'll sort of see what's going on with the weird scent. There's a doppelganger or something like that. I guess maybe it's because that one creature makes something that looks like gold, but isn't gold. I don't know. Lots of ice picked in though can work on that. Then we can rush in over here. I think for now we'll just switch that over. And I think what we have to do here is we have to freeze the water. Um, so yeah, let's get 15 ice Pikmin onto here. There we go. I wish we could damage that enemy while that was happening, but we can't really, so we'll work on this fruit. Is that enough? I think it is. And then once we get that in, that should be enough to uh, complete this area. I guess we'll see soon enough, but there we go. And also, yeah, call over the blue Pikmin that aren't doing much. And all these ice Pikmin too. Got it. So that ice should break soon enough. And once they get zipped up, I think we're good to go. So you'd think I'd be able to maybe like freeze this guy. It doesn't really work that way though. Okay. Actually, it sort of kind of works that way. Anyways, we're just gonna rush you. We'll find one way or another to get you. Um, destroy this and destroy this. Or not destroy it, but pick it up. And with that, yeah, we're already at 100%, so once we get all this stuff over, we'll be in a really good position just to move on. All right, got it. And where was the exit again? It was right down that way, so we'll be passing them. So yeah, we're just waiting for that. So you can toss a couple of other Pikmin over there just to speed up the process. And as soon as they're done. This is a nice area that's like a little stepping pool or something. You just step in and just enjoy the water. Uh, and there we go. We can head to the next section where hopefully we'll just get more done. All right, Doppelganger Zen, sub-level two. I immediately see that egg. We should probably just get that out of the way. I don't see too many of our Pikmin that actually need the bloom, though. So let's just hop off here, and I'll just send over whoever I can just to see if anybody needs it, but it doesn't seem like it. Okay, what's going on with the big button? If I throw a Pikmin onto this. It lowers some doors, but raises others. Gotcha. I guess we'll work on this first. Oh my. Oh, they're coming over, they're coming over. Let's be ready. There we go. Get ready to freeze them, and then to send everybody over to help. 
Nice. Got it. And I will pluck some ice Pikmin over this way. It looks like we could just go through here. Call everybody over. Oh no, we got these monsters, which luckily we have some white Pikmin to deal with them. So that should actually make it super quick and easy work. Cool. And then what's up with this? Get some of that. Oh no, oh no, send everybody in. Let's deal with this however we can, even if I need to throw a couple of punches myself, right? Okay, everybody stop panicking and fight. Such a weird type of enemy. Because you can only really get like one or two of them, it feels. Okay. We'll call some of the idle Pikmin over to that way. But so far, I mean, I definitely want some water Pikmin to get rid of this vent. I see that spiky fish again. And this is our exit over here. Oh, the Pikmin are having trouble. Don't worry. We'll figure it out eventually. We'll get a lot of water Pikmin onto that one. And then we'll get this whole group over here. Okay. So they're slowly working on that. I'm a little bit worried about this guy though, so maybe I'll just, oh no you don't, no you don't, no you don't. Come on, come on, come over here. There we go, we're losing Pikmin, unfortunately, but uh, I don't think we lost any of the white Pikmin, which are the, the scariest ones. Okay, this isn't doing too much when it comes to freezing them. I wish it was, but it's not. Okay, gotcha, much better. So I will just call over that ice Pikmin, there we go. Get that figured out, and that one, and then I have a whole host of Pikmin that can definitely start dealing with this. There we go. That should lower that a lot. Once it's done, we'll be in a much better position. I don't know what this one blue Pikmin's doing, but they're very confused. Um, Where do we go from here? There's another doll piece over there. I will call over idle Pikmin, because it looks like we cleared out this area basically fully. Yeah, I don't know what that is, maybe another vent. But uh, the Pikmin are having trouble. I don't know exactly where they're having trouble. Everything seems fine to me over here. So I think for now, with that figured out, we're getting a lot of sparkling. There we go. Blue gate's open. Call some friends over and start working on this. Have them all start fighting. Oh no, they're not like attacking. Here. There we go. Yeah, we lost a couple of ice Pikmin from that. Not what I wanted. Maybe a couple water Pikmin to help out, and then we'll just charge you. Gotcha. Okay, with that done, you have to fight this thing too. There's some more ice Pikmin. I don't know if any of them need this, but it seems like they do. Ooh, okay, so we can make more white Pikmin here. That's always a good opportunity. So we'll do that and start plucking those. Because this is the only way we can get more white Pikmin, I'm pretty sure. Got it. So what's going on through this tunnel? I don't think we actually ever checked it out. But we are 50% through this whole thing. Um, so through the tunnel we go, whoa, that's an NES controller over there. That's cool, I wanna check that out then soon. But I guess for now we'll go over here and get that. How do we get up there then? Not like this, that's for sure. But that can be delivered over. I'm gonna go and press the button. So that maybe they'll get an easier time. But how do I get up there? I guess, oh, I see. So first do this. If I were to press this button, as you can see, it gets a little complicated. So what might be better is if I did this and we disbanded, then I hopped off of Moss. I want Moss to go over here. Here we go. Switch back. Yep, okay. Oh, here's where it gets complicated though. So I guess we should stay over here Toss a few friends over to Moss, but I don't even think Moss needs, not Moss, sorry, uh, Ochi. <laughs> I get a little mixed up now that we're, we're, we're dealing with both of them, but uh, I'll go over here, switch to you, toss a Pikmin on. This should do everything we need it to do. So, switch back over. And first we need to fight you, uh oh. Sort of forgot about that. Let's just go and fight you like that. I mean, that did a pretty good job at first. Um. Uh, all right, ready? Just throw a couple of Pikmin on you, and I think we can defeat you just by tossing a bunch. There we go. And what about this? Can they reach it? They can. So that's great. A couple more over on this side, and I think we're good to go. We just need to switch. Come on, switch. Press that button, and that should be good enough for everybody to go back. 
It looks like it. So I just call them all over. Oh, wait, I didn't give them enough people over there. Really? Oh, that's sort of lame. Um, What if I threw the Pikmin and then ran really fast? That almost worked. Uh, Oh, that is so frustrating. Okay, whatever. Um, Switch and, and hit this button. And then do this again. I don't know why the Pikmin didn't like join there. It was weird. Um, So we need to send Ochi back over here, not Moss. Switch again. And then switch one more time, like this. Okay, just all the Pikmin you need to move this controller. There you go. See, was that so hard? I don't think it is. And then once it's past there, we can switch back to our friend and get this press. That should be, as far as I can tell, just about everything around here. Yeah, it really seems like it. So I guess we'll find out soon enough. I'll call the idle Pikmin over to me. And then we just need Ochi over here too. So Ochi, buddy, come on. And then just in case, yeah, we'll just have all of them try that. Is that 100%? It is 100%. So we're done with this area and we're halfway done with this whole um, adventure here. So once we get all of our friends back, we're just getting out of here. We're just gonna go um, straight over there. Swim across and go to sub-level three of the Doppelganger's Den. Let's get a move on. Okay, so sub-level three is here. What do we wanna do around here then? There is a lot of stuff to do, it seems. Yeah, this area is actually very expansive. I could just hop off of uh, Ochi, try this way out a little bit. Oh, but maybe I can't, we're slowly gaining, but our friends can't join us, so that might just not be worth it for now. I'm sure we'll find a button to lower that gate at some point. There's other things to mess with, like over here. I see, wait, did we miss some Pikmin? I guess so, they, they just didn't come with us. Uh, we'll throw a couple over there to deal with the spider. That's never fun to deal with when they start picking things up and just being a menace, so get rid of them like that. Once again, we're trying to call Pikmin over. Okay, so one, two, deal with those. And then you over here, you gotta go. Ooh, watch out. Come on, just a little bit more. That's got it, awesome. So one, two like that. I oh, don't have the white Pikmin, I wanna keep those. But we can throw a bunch of water Pikmin over here to deal with this. So we're overall, you know, we're staying pretty engaged here. We, we, we got a lot going on. I'm trying to, I don't think I have any Pikmin that can reach. No, that's not what I wanted. Oh, that was the silliest thing in the world. Uh, okay, the bubbles eventually pop. And what's going on over here? Is there something? Oh, there's something up there. Gotcha. I can't quite reach that from here, but if I can find a way onto that platform, probably with this fan, that might be my answer. So what's the deal with this? Yeah, it pushes me up, so I need to time it. <laughs> Poor Ochi, whoa. <laughs> so cute, I love that noise. All right, we're almost up here, where I think we just need to do some crazy platforming. We're up here, and then we hop onto this part, and then we throw a bunch of Pikmin over this way. That should be all we need. So those grapes are on their way down. We wanna destroy this bubble maker too. Got it. And then we can turn a couple of Pikmin into white Pikmin. So I think first I need to destroy all these little sort of mushrooms. So I guess work on that for now. And we'll just keep doing that until we can access this white Pikmin flower. Got it. Uh-oh, the Pikmin are having trouble. Sticky mold removed. Uh-oh. See, what do we do about all of that? Right now, it doesn't seem very clear. So, we'll deal with it in a moment. I guess for now, there's the button I need to press, but once again, getting over there is the complicated thing. So if they can't do much, I might as well just keep them with me. We'll hop off of Ochi and start dealing with this poisonous sort of set of spores we have over here. There you go, you guys get all that done. Now I'll probably just move from one to the other. We should have plenty of Pikmin to break this open. And we do. Got it. Okay, call everybody over. For this one, yeah, we just wanna hop up here and then charge across. 
Seems like we did it pretty well. We need a little bit more, come on. Keep running, keep running. And then we'll charge and get through. Got it. That'll get rid of some more of the sticky mold, but this monster I'm a little bit afraid of. I'll have to get all the white picking to fight it. Gotcha. Which we have 20 of now, pretty nice. I do see that guy over there. He might roll rocks at us soon. That would be a problem. Oh, we can get the ship over here. That'd be so convenient. So first gonna go for you. If we can freeze you, that'd be a huge advantage. There we go. Boom. Got it. It's a new base unlocked. We'll transfer over as soon as possible. Just, yeah, whatever picking can get some nectar there. That sounds like a good idea. Hmm. We'll get that transferred. I still need to find a way up there. I guess something with this platform? Seems a bit odd, but 15 P Pikmin for this one. It's gotta start breaking these, but as you can see with this, this is where it gets complicated. Here. Yeah, the sticky mold makes this move a whole lot slower. But if we can freeze you, which we're about to do, um, come on, come on, come on. Keep throwing them. Just a little bit more. Everybody's panicking right now. Oh, we're losing some Pikmin. Um, I think I lost a couple of white Pikmin there, it's hard to tell. Uh, we gotta charge you. I can't charge you because of the stickiness, I guess. That's sort of not good. Oh, we didn't lose any white Pikmin. That's good, please. Here, go back to trying to freeze you, but then over here. Oh my goodness, it's so much. There we go, we got it all dealt with. Let's pick that up, toss something over here, and then definitely charge this stuff. Nice. Once again, we have more ice Pikmin than anything else, so I think we'll just use the ice Pikmin, turn them into white Pikmin. And it looks like our, our scalable wall has been uh, crafted, so I guess we can do that. Let's call you back, because only the water Pikmin can really do that one. Um, but over here, we get these guys, so much going on. Um, we got another enemy. This one doesn't have all the stickiness to protect them, so I think we'll be able to get them pretty easily. There we go. Ooh, get frozen. Boom, knock you out. Very nice. So I think I'll just send a good balance of both water Pikmin and ice Pikmin to deal with all this. And they'll just keep chipping away at that over time. I guess really the ice Pikmin can't. Uh, here, how many ice Pikmin do we need? 15. Sort of a pain, but we'll do what we can. Better than nothing. Okay, so back over here. Tossing all those guys over. And I think a couple of the blue Pikmin can, yeah, use that. Any of the white Pikmin? Oh, definitely. There we go. Boom, a bunch of Pikmin flowers complete, so we got that done. Excellent to see it. What more can we do around here then? We'll call the idlers over. I'll climb up here and see what the button's all about. Uh, press this button. What did that do? Um, moving walkways have changed direction. Oh. For better or for worse. I don't know if that really changes too much for me right now. Um, I guess for now, if we can get everybody to move this fruit, maybe this platform will start moving again? Uh, it doesn't seem like it. So when it comes to getting up to the where the button is, it's still a total mystery to me. Uh, it has to be that over there. But I can't get to, yeah, that can't be yet. Because, yeah, how do I do this? Um, all right, well, we got the Winter Reserve series complete. That's cool. I'm a little confused right now. Let's try out this fan over this way. If I were to toss a Pikmin at this fan, where do they get blown off to? Just over there. Uh, that's not very useful for right now. So, I mean, I guess I'll get blown over because what else am I doing here? How do I get to that button? There's gotta be another fan around or something. Um, all right, Ochi again. I'll call over some friends. How are we getting over there? I mean, maybe I can just toss that and I'm just overthinking this. Now, maybe from the conveyor belt? Here, if I could just, this would be really tricky, but might be my only chance. Oh, okay, yeah, that's all we had to do. <laughs> I definitely overthought that before. I'm gonna throw a bunch of Pikmin over to that. Looks like they might have it under control. With the fences lowered, we have so much more at our disposal now. This is great. So, 15 more over here. We still have the frozen Pikmin over there, yep, okay. 
They still need more help. They need one more Pikmin. Oh my goodness. After that, though, is there really anything more to do? I guess there is a little bit more left to do. So I'll call the idle Pikmin over. The Pikmin are having trouble. I don't see why they would be. But once, oh yeah, because, I mean, I guess the conveyor belt a little bit. Once that gets zipped up, I'm gonna switch this over. That way we can bring the last piece over really quickly. So they got it, moving the base. Did that work? It did, okay. New treasure collected, glad to see it. Let's head back up here. Um, I think this was a good idea. Actually, now in hindsight, it might not be. We'll see, because I'll just jump over here. I will hit this button. Now we should be fine. They'll be able to bring that down, and that'll definitely be the last little percentage we need, right? I don't see anything else going on around here, so I'd imagine that's the case. So I will charge up, go back up here, and see for ourselves in just a moment, was that what we needed? I guess we'll see. Uh, there it goes. 100%, so that means that we probably only have one more area left to tackle here in the doppelganger's den. Still not really finding the scent issue. Maybe it was just that one enemy that holds the gold piece, but I don't know, it's sort of weird. Okay, so what's the deal with this one? Whoa, that guy is huge, huh? There must be a castaway nearby. Whoa, look at our meter, so this guy is probably the issue. Oh my goodness, he's gigantic. Can we freeze him? If we can freeze him, that might be my best bet. The gold chunks are going flying, and underneath there are this more, I guess, like vulnerable areas. Oh my goodness, I'm just trying to stay behind you for now because you're gonna try to eat up my Pikmin. Yo, let's not go for the gold. I think that might be a bit of a mistake. We need to fully focus on the weak spots of this monster. There we go, fully frozen. I'm gonna charge you like this and really go, go at you now. Keep on him, keep on him. Oh, we're breaking these red spots. That can't feel good. Don't go for the gold. Really easy to fall for that. So that's what the doppelganger is. It's doppelganging the gold. Oh no, we lost some Pikmin there. Not desirable situation, but we will just charge again like this. And we almost got you here. Just don't get distracted by that gold. Okay, call everybody over as much as I possibly can. And before you can get any more of it back, he's trying to eat up more of it and put it on his back. We'll do that. We'll charge you. Boom. Okay, it's still not enough, <laughs> they're so tough. Come on, come on. This is going really crazy, but if we just throw this over, is this really doing much anymore? It is, but we just gotta keep going. Breaking this one gold piece is proving to be difficult. Just keep attacking that red spot is all we need, but come on. Don't let them get that. Oh, they got it. This is weirdly difficult because all of our Pikmin keep getting distracted on the gold. <laughs> I don't know why. It's this last little piece I need you all to focus on before he gets back up. Come on, come on, come on. It's just the tiniest little sliver of health. There we go. All right, that was tough for sure. But another enemy defeated. Awesome, and the gates now open with that. I don't think we're quite done now. We still have to find our friends somewhere because I don't think they spat them out. Um. Okay, now you guys can get the gold. You happy now? Oh my goodness. See, I throw a bunch of Pikmin everywhere. I will try to get through this stuff. Got some more dice, interesting. Um, yeah, everybody's keeping busy right now. Charging up again, running over. Ooh, so this is actually gold. Gotcha, and can I help with this at all? Yes, there we go, I broke some, some open. And it might just be faster for all of us to work on one at, the, at a time. So just go like this and yeah, charge it. As soon as you guys are done with that, charge the next one. This feels a lot more efficient. Maybe it's just me. But I haven't found the castaway just yet. They gotta be around here somewhere, right? Unless our scent was off about that too. Yeah, get some Pikmin over there, some Pikmin over here. We should have it covered maybe in this giant egg that I didn't notice until now. No, okay, weird. Up and back on Ochi. I do see a couple more pots over this way. This has gotta be it, right? Boom. There you are, I've been looking all over for you. So once we get you rescued, and it's a leaf link too. Okay, well luckily we got a lot of the cure last time around. Once we get you, everything should be nice and finished. That was very interesting. Okay. Got all that, 
Unfortunately, I did lose more white Pikmin than I wanted to that time, but I'm checking the ID info of this leafling you picked up. Nothing. Figures. That data is still unreadable. All we can do is bring them back and get them cured. That's exactly what we'll do. So let's grab all of this. Oh, and there's some more over here. So let's just make sure we get everybody we can. I don't know, I think we lost a few, but maybe not. Yeah, we're down to 23. I think we had 25 before. So that was a very cool area, but also very difficult. The doppelganger's den, but with it, we were able to save another leafling. I'm excited to see who that ends up being, but for right now, we are out of here. All right, so as you can see, we have our rescue and our pup drive up improving. And with this, a bunch of sparkly um, rewards, including two gold medals, three gold medals for um, series completed. So we'll definitely have a good tally up at the end of today. Investigation complete for this area, and we may also have some time to explore more of the hero's hideaway. All right, we're out right by the TV again. What can we do here? Okay, this seems fine to me. We'll keep with the setup. Oh, and yeah, we're down to the 10 second timer, so there's not really much we can do now. Um, I will hop down this way and just see. We got five Pikmin we can toss over here, because we're heading back there anyway. So let's actually toss a couple over, get them to really help move it over. And just whoever isn't, I don't know if they'll be able to do it in time, actually. I'm a little concerned. Uh, you know what, yeah, they're not gonna be able to do it in time. It's not going anywhere, it's just a monster that we defeated, so if we run back now, We'll be okay. That was still a first, you know, a fun first introduction to the Heroes Hideaway. There's clearly plenty more for us to do in this area, but each time we'll discover a little bit more, so that'll be great. All right, let's head home. It's such a cute area, though. We got all these like arts and crafts on the floor too. So fun. All right, we've made it home safe and sound. So we'll get to cure that leafling. I'm very curious about it. But here are the exploration results for day 25. Our pub drive's up to four, so that's cool. So look at all the stuff we got here. I'm very excited about the the nostalgic stuff, but we got the three generation series complete. That's a fun, fun little concept. We get the gold medal for it. We gotta keep moving now. And this time we get the winter reserve series. So a bunch of fruit that I guess um, grows in the winter. Gotcha. Keep moving. There should be one more set. We just completed the summer fruit series. So yeah, there's all sorts of fruit today. Delectable. But we're still not done. I believe there's a few more things waiting for us. Yep, there we go. So now we'll scroll through it all. We got the creatures, the nuggets, over 19,000 sparkling. Difficult choice totem, throw ride track, the go with the flow totem, memory fragment top-ish, <laughs> summer fruit series gold medal, Dusk Pustules, Citrus Lump, Winter Reserve Series Gold Medal, Pocked Airhead, Life Controller, <laughs> Three Generation Series, Granddaughter Doll Head, Gifting Base, uh, Face Wrinkler, Merciless Extractor, Astringent Clump, Traplid, Shooting Star Shield, Peacemaker Combo Bot, uh, Spinning Memories Plank, which, oh, that's, um, was it Kuru Kuru Kururian, I think? Something like that. Uh, we played that on the Nintendo Switch Online service. Interesting. Uh, Relentless Spear and Wisdom Emblem. Awesome. So with all that finished up, you can see we're now 19% through the way of Heroes Hideaway. So we still have a lot of work ahead of us then. Captain Almar is f from Hakati, isn't he? I hear that planet is quite well known for its vegetables. Apparently they're indescribably delicious. It's always been a dream of mine to one day eat a genuine Hakati golden pick pick carrot. But they're so expensive. I haven't had the right occasion to justify it. Ah yes, golden pick pick carrots. Just talking about them brings me back to my mother's kitchen and her amazing cooking. She'd blend them up in a mixture until they were liquefied. Nutritious, delicious, and extremely efficient for consumption. She took all those beautiful expensive carrots and made juice? Does that even count as cooking? I mean, I'd imagine it does. So we still need to progress with rescuing Almar, but friend to all Pikmin, we're growing the Pikmin population a little bit more. That's great. And we are beginning day 26. So I guess at this point, it's just a full focus through Hero's Hideaway until we slowly get everything we need done.
But I guess for now, we can quench our curiosity of who this leafling is. It's a green one, it's the first time seeing a green one. Right, administer the cure at once. Or no, actually, maybe we saw a green one not too long ago. Yes, Captain. Yeah, we did see a green one not too long ago. So this is our second green one. Ooh. So maybe the color is based off their hair? Santi, Uncharted Planet Tour pilot, home planet Nijo. Currently a temp at Satella Travel, he's had many jobs over the years and seems fated to always cross paths with his rival. Who's his rival then? Our work doesn't end here. It's our duty to care for and protect anyone we've rescued and hear what they have to say. So that's pretty cool. I guess we'll talk to them at some point, but we cured nine leaflings, so that's another quest done. Fantastic stuff for sure. We'll see if the, the ID badges or anything else has been updated. Uh, so we got these two that we just found. And then the voyage log. Alamar might have some new things to say. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, right now, it looks like we've gotten a lot of these. It's cool that we're, we're sort of seeing them all sequentially now, but it might just be the one cavern we went into. You get the doppelganger's den, which we've already read, but it seems like there might be something else that's new. Um, unknown area. I'm so close to fully repairing the SS Dolphin. The remaining part should be somewhere inside this giant structure that I've never seen before. As if, the, as if the rules of logic I've come to understand may not apply here. I'll have to explore carefully now. Cool. And we also have the strange Pikmin behavior. When I arrived at this area, the Pikmin started acting quite strange. They flew out of the onion and immediately hid. I can't find my spaceship parts without them. I suppose I'll just keep looking for them and can call them back using my whistle. An intriguing code. I've noticed that there are several items labeled with a strange code strewn about this area. I'm not sure what they're used for, but I should take thorough notes, notes in case it becomes obvious later. Those are just playing cards. And then we have Moss the guard dog. Moss has been guarding the outside of the bunker for me while I rest. Okay, we, we did read this one. So um, yeah, Moss has been super useful. I haven't seen the bunker that they're mentioning though, but that's where Almar should be. So hopefully we can start to find that in the next episode of Pikmin 4. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.